Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Larry the Batman Fan, and I'm back with another video. This is going to be on the top 15 best Sega Game Gear games. I'm going to do this last video here for y'all. I wanted to get another top 15 out of here. Done and out of the way. So, the number one game on the Sega Game Gear is Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Very fun game, lots of speed, lots of fun collecting the rings, stomping on the enemy's heads, watching out for traps. It's a really good game. If you have a Sega, Sega Game Gear, I definitely recommend that game. Uh, here, number two is Shining Force. Shining Force is a very good, good game. I highly recommend it if you're a fan of RPGs. There was a few uh, really good RPG games on the system, and Shining Force is definitely the best one that you could get. I'm actually really surprised there was no Fantasy Star, from what I know, on the Game Gear, because it really should have had a Fantasy Star game on there. But Shining Force has a lot of leveling up in the game, uh, upgrading your weapons, a lot of grinding to do. And it's just a really fun action RPG. I highly recommend it if you guys are a fan of RPGs. Number three here we have Defenders of Oasis. This is another RPG game. Now this one I've actually played on the Sega Game Gear. And it was so good I couldn't put it down. Um, number four we have The Adventures of Batman and Robin. If you know me I was going to put... A Batman game up on my list because it's awesome and plus I was a big fan of the TV show Growing up and I had the complete set over there But something tells me there is a fifth season of it because the way it ended was really weird um But the game was really good. It's a um, side-scrolling platformer game slash beat-em-up game where you beat up bad guys on the screen and jump from rooftop to rooftop. You can also play as Robin in the game as well. It's a very fun game. If you guys like Batman and Robin. Or the, the animated show from the early 90's. It was really awesome. Number 5 is X-Men. X-Men is a good good game. I highly recommend that. Another side scrolling beat em up game. There were 3 X-Men games on the uh, Sega, Gen or Sega Game Gear. And they're really good. I recommend the first one. The the most really fun game and I think it was based off of the TV show from the 90s which was a really good uh, five season TV show uh, number six is Shinobi that's a no-brainer Shinobi is an excellent game for your game gear especially if you have a game gear I highly recommend it if you uh, like ninja games it's definitely worth checking out Number seven is Mega Man. Uh, very surprising that they actually had a Mega Man game on the Sega Game Gear. But it's definitely a good one if you are looking for some games to play for your Sega Game Gear. I definitely recommend Mega Man. It's a side-scroller game, of course. And you have like a gun in your arm. And you shoot bad guys with it. It's really good. I recommend it. Number 8 is Sonic Chaos, another good Sonic game on the Sega Game Gear. Although most of the Sonic games on the Game Gear were good, except for Sonic Labyrinth, which that game sucks ass. That game is shit. Um, and 3D Blast wasn't really that great on the Game Gear. But uh, yeah, Sonic Chaos was pretty good. Really good uh, Sonic game. Highly recommend that. Uh, then we have at number 9, we have... Crusader Ascenti, which is another RPG game on the system. Lots of grinding and level up system thing going on there. Um, going through the levels, exploring, talking to the townspeople, and uh, fighting, uh, you know, mythological creatures and stuff. And it's really good. It's a good RPG game. I recommend it. Number 10 is Miss Pac-Man. I highly recommend Miss Pac-Man. Although I couldn't put it any higher on this list because Miss Pac-Man has been on so many of the map code museums. You could play this game on PC for free. You could play it on the original Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. You could play it pretty much on any console or in the arcade. So 
Everybody has played in this pack, man. That's why I was nice enough to put it in the top 10. But I can't put it any higher than 10 because it's just, it's Miss Pac-Man. Come on. It could be a lot um, greater. It is a good game, though. I'm not saying that it's bad. It is a good game. But it's it's just that it's Miss Pac-Man. So, number 11 is Paperboy, a fun Paperboy game um, where you play as this guy delivering papers. And the uh, port on the Sega Game Gear is not too bad. Um, you throw papers at people's windows and try to land it in the proper spots, but sometimes you don't. You got this Grim Re Reaper dude. You got a dog that's chasing you. Um, a bunch of other crazy stuff is happening in the game. But it's not a bad game. It's an okay game if you have it for the Game Gear. It's just as good as the NES version, if not better. Uh, number 12 is Spider-Man. Of course, I had to put a Spider-Man game up here. I'm sure the real G-Money Harrison is happy about that. But Spider-Man's good. There was three Spider-Man games on the system. The original Spider-Man for Sega Game Gear. There was Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six, which that game is terrible. But the Game Gear version might actually be decent. But the NES version, stay away from it. Stay far away. And then, of course, Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge, which was also released on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's a good game. Recommend Spider-Man. Uh, number 13 is uh, Super Columns. Super Columns is a pretty fun game. Uh, I do recommend that. Uh, if you like puzzle games, it plays a lot like Tetris. It's like Tetris and Bejeweled combined into one game to make columns. Number 14 is Mortal Kombat. I definitely recommend Mortal Kombat. That's a very fun port of the game. That was on Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. But it's really not a bad fighting game. It's a really good game. It showed that fighting games could be done well. Even on a handheld as long as you uh, didn't half-ass shit and made it good. And number 15 is NBA Jam. I'm not the biggest sports game person, but um, NBA Jam, I'll admit, was a pretty fun game for a basketball game. Boom shakalaka. He's on fire. Things like that that they said in the game, which uh, really intrigued you. And also the game was actually fun to pick up and play. It was easy to play and control. So it was two on two basketball it was actually a blast. Plus your basketball could get on fire. So it was a very good game. And I highly recommend it. Um honorable mentions for the Sega Game Gear is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh very fun game. Um Shinobi 2. That's also a really good game. Uh Ninja Gaiden for the Sega Game Gear, also really good. There was that vampire game that plays very similar to Castlevania. That's a good game as well. And also uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Those are also excellent Game Gear games. And Sonic Drift 2. And also the original Sonic Drift, but that game apparently never came out to North America. So you have to get the Japanese version of the game. But it's still good. Um... And then also Golden Axe, Axe Warrior, which is a Golden Axe game, but it's a RPG game. And then also WWF Raw, WWF Steel Cage, and also um, uh, Ren and Stimpy, that's, that's a good game, and uh, Paperboy 2. And those are some of the honorable mentions that I can mention here. Oh, also Mortal Kombat 2, got a port. On the Sega Game Gear, it's actually a really good game as well. And Tales Adventure, also a very fun game. And those are some of the games that I recommend for the honorable mentions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, Sega Game Gear video. I know I kind of did this pretty fast, uh, kind of like Anthony Chobot does. But it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It doesn't necessarily also have to be a 30-minute video to talk about some games. Wanted to keep it around the 10 15 minute mark. Anthony Chobot does pop culture. You don't have to do another top 15. But if you want to do a top 15, let's see and hear what your uh, top 15 Sega Game Gear games are. I would really like to know. Please let me know. Mr. Anthony Chobot does pop culture. 
and everybody else that's watched my videos, Real G Money, Harrison, Jack the Gold Kick, Brian Delivers You the Goods, um, Shadow Legends, and everybody else that watches my channel. Thank you very much for watching my videos and my channel. And I hope you guys will stay tuned for more gaming videos and check out my other gaming videos on my channel. Be sure to scroll down. You will find the videos there. And as always, Larry the Batman fan, sign out. And remember, Jesus loves you very much. And he wants what's best for you. God bless you all. And keep on gaming. Peace.